Hello and welcome to this electrictv.net feature story powered by the NECA IBEW team, the best labor management partnership in the construction industry. I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. Natural disasters occur when we all least expect them. And most times, the NECA IBEW team is counted among the first responders, restoring power and getting things back online. While precautionary and preparedness actions by citizens may help reduce the impact, nothing can fully ensure that everything or everyone will be safe. Take, for example, in the event of an earthquake. Depending on severity, cans of food, bottles of water, even backup generators can't prevent entire buildings from collapsing. And in certain parts of the world predisposed to earthquakes like San Francisco, California, that's a big concern. In 1906, an earthquake destroyed 80% of the city. In 89, again, disaster struck, this time caught on live television during the broadcast of Game 3 of the World Series. According to the San Francisco Earthquake Data Center, the fact is, earthquakes are far more common here than twice every 83 years. In 2013 alone, there were 28 registered quakes of varying magnitudes, and the fear of not knowing when or where the next one will hit has caused the city's only trauma center hospital to take some fairly drastic preparedness actions. This is in addition to San Francisco General Hospital. It's, uh, I believe, a $900 million uh, total project cost. We put an awful big building on a little grassy knoll between some buildings that were built in 1917. The size of the building isn't what's important here, but rather the size of the earthquake it's meant to withstand. This building moves 30 inches all different ways, and I believe it moves up and down five inches. It's on a bowl with ball bearings. So this, this building is designed to be able to take an earthquake. So when people in the hospital, they're, after the earthquake, they're all still fine, and then kind of get rushed out, or we need a hospital after an earthquake. Well, this will be a state-of-the-art trauma facility with able to withstand a 8.2 level earthquake and you know, service the city and county of San Francisco. There's almost 45,000 feet of large pipe down here and probably another 5,000 feet of small pipe for lighting. It doesn't look like ideal working conditions, but it's really fun um, because I get to build something. Every day is a new environment, a new, a new challenge. I take pride in the work that I do because this will be here for the next however long, um, and I'm proud that I'm the one that installed it. Code of Excellence, is, it's, uh, it's a program that the IBW does, uh, basically from the top down, but I believe in it because we're all professional electricians. When you're working, you install to a professional manner. A hospital addition is unlike any other type of construction around, and a hospital addition that can withstand an earthquake is unlike any other type of hospital around. All hospital work is pretty challenging because there's so many devices and so much plumbing, so much electrical that um, you know everything has to be done precisely so everything works properly. We're trying to be as quiet as possible. The emergency ward is still going on, so you know we, we try to walk around on tiptoes as much as we can, but it's still construction. You have to do what you have to do. Uh, that's kind of a Rosenden edict, you know. Uh, we try to build relationships and get future projects. Rosen is a great subcontractor and they've, uh, they've helped us out a lot here and our, the two companies, us and uh, Rosen have worked together over the course of our two companies history and uh, been very pleased with the, the uh, outcome of their performance. The workforce that they hire is very knowledgeable and, and they do great work and uh, we're very pleased. A near one billion dollar engineering marvel, a building that can withstand an earthquake that registers an eight on the Richter scale and a happy customer all brought to you in part by the NECA IBEW team. That's all for this edition. Please make a point, if you haven't done so already, to follow us on our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Become a subscriber to receive alerts when we have a new story uploaded. And that can be done either here on our website or over on our YouTube channel. For all of us here at ETV, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.